everyone and welcome to Adventures by D. Today we're back at Zoo Atlanta making the most of our membership. And the purpose of our video originally was going to be about the panda exhibit here behind me we're about to enter because Zoo Atlanta is one of the few zoos in the United States that has pandas. But when we got here we also have experienced as always at Zoo Atlanta a ton of great animals. We can't wait to show you all the fun things we always see when we come to the zoo. So join us on our panda and zoo adventure. They have a specially themed area. They have an inside area and an outside area for the pandas. The other thing about Zoo Atlanta, if I can show you here if I pivot, is there's a ton of different bamboo growing and all different varieties of bamboo. So you can see here, this has one color. I don't know the variety, so maybe somebody could comment below if you know more about bamboo than me. You see this is a different type of bamboo, but Zoo Atlanta grows bamboo and then feeds it to the pandas. Um, similarly, around the Atlanta area within a so many mile radius, if you have bamboo that the pandas like to eat, they will come harvest it. So there are people's jobs that do that growing all around Atlanta. I think they go all the way to Alabama, but um, there's certain varieties that they like to eat. All right, you can have all the families shift down to the next available square. Welcome to Giant Pandas. They're girls. So why does mom stay separate? Um, because she's older and also giant pandas are what we call uh, solitary animals. So they're not going to stay um, in family groups typically in the wild. So they're not going to do it here. 23 or maybe 24. She had a birthday in August. The twins are four years old. Uh -oh. If you were here in 2016, that was them. Vulture. Wow. Well, 
the colors. That sun feels good, doesn't it, today? It's warming up in Atlanta. You're enjoying it, aren't you? It down? It's kind of there. Oh. See? Let's see here. So those are Victoria crowned pigeons. And then the Indian peafowl. And there's a plantain eater in here somewhere too. It is your turn. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. No. Wow, look at that, it's like a 360. But Dean has his eyes on what would be part of the aviary show. Way back here is the toucan. Dean spotted this from far away. Hello. A nice hello. Let's go check out some elephants, Dean, and some meerkats. We should do a joke. Two giraffes and a zebra come into a bar. What happens? Because I didn't, I was looking at the giraffes and then you see a zebra just hanging out with them. They're eating. Oh yeah. Why do you think that is? Age? Look at that. It's a different color. Beautiful. Come on! 
Well, that was our trip to Zoo Atlanta. We came for the pandas. That was our specific visit today. But boy, do we see so much more like we do every time. And the aviary is probably some of our favorites here. And we saw the fossa and it was fed rats or mice. We got to see that. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. We have a playlist of all things zoos and aquariums. The other thing I want to bring up is parking. You now have to park at Zoo Atlanta. So if you've come before and you could just park outside, now there's pay. It's $3 an hour or $12 for the entire day. And it's tough to find parking if you don't get here first thing in the morning. There's a lot of street parking, but it's tough to find that too. So just know you have to pay for parking now. And if, it, if your age is two and up in 2021 for now, mass required. With that, may the adventures be with you. Dean, who are the adventures going to be with? You. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ringing a bell so you'll be notified of our next upload. And as always, may the adventures be with you.